Not all animals breathe through their noses and mouths like us. Some creatures breathe through their skin, while others can breathe through <clears throat> their butts. While you may think this is gross and unnecessary, others may see it as a superpower. I know I do. Turtles can survive below freezing temperatures during hibernation because of their ability to breathe through their butts. New findings show that pigs can breathe this way too. And butt breathing animals could save people from COVID-19. So how does butt breathing work? Can humans do it too? And what does butt breathing have to do with COVID-19? Stick around to find out. Intestinal or cloacal breathing is common among reptiles, amphibians, and aquatic creatures like loachfish, sea cucumbers, turtles, and sea snakes. The freshwater loachfish, which lives in the rivers and creeks of Eurasia and Northern Africa, has a portion of its intestine dedicated to breathing when the fish is in a low oxygen environment. This changes the structure of their guts, increasing blood vessel density and decreasing digestive function. Turtles, which are ectotherms, or cold-blooded, change their body temperatures depending on the temperature of their environment. When it gets cold, a turtle's metabolism slows down, and it needs less water, food, and oxygen to survive. Its cloaca, an opening used for reproduction and digestion, contains numerous blood vessels that transport oxygen throughout the turtle's entire body from water it sucks in through its anus. That is both weird and remarkable. Since intestinal breathing helps other species increase their oxygen intake when they have trouble breathing, scientists wanted to find out if this could work for humans. It could be essential, as we are facing one of the worst respiratory-based pandemics in history. The first recorded study of intestinal breathing in humans occurred in 1959, and there was a clinical trial in Russia in 2014. The findings showed an increase in oxygenation, but further clarification and research were needed. More recently, scientists have begun testing mammals, including mice, rats, and pigs. Dr. Takanori Takabe of the Cincinnati Children's Hospital is leading an intestinal breathing experiment in mammals and hoping to apply the findings to critical COVID-19 patients due to shortages of ventilators and artificial lungs. The experiment could lead to an alternative treatment that provides patients with the oxygen they need when ventilators are non-existent or inaccessible. One treatment for respiratory ailments is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It uses a machine to oxygenate a patient's blood, but its risks include excessive bleeding and blood clots. While butt breathing research and experiments are still in the early stages, there have been some interesting findings so far. According to Medical News Today, researchers reversed respiratory failure in mice and pigs by giving them oxygen through their anus in gas or liquid form. And of course, new theories bring controversy. Many scientists are skeptical about the treatment's effectiveness, and there is a debate over which part of the gut is responsible for intestinal breathing. Some researchers think it's the upper gastrointestinal or GI tract, including the small intestines and stomach. Another group thinks it happens in the lower GI tract, particularly the rectum. While it's too soon to draw any conclusions, it's never too soon to have hope. These butt-breathing animals may hold the key to saving human lives. Only time and science and butts will tell. Breathing through their butts and reversing respiratory illness is what intestinal breathing animals do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.